Hello, this is DJ Martin from Garage Guru TV, and today I will be featuring a product from Autometer Competition Instruments. Many modern vehicles have very limited gauge clusters, which won't tell you a lot about your vehicle. And as Autometer has been the leader in gauge clusters and instruments for many decades, their engineers have come up with a solution for that. And it's the Autometer Dashlink, an iOS and Android compatible device that will tell you many different parameters about your vehicle via the OBD2 port. Let me show you how easy this thing is to install. Out of the box, all you need to do is locate the OBD2 port on your vehicle and plug in the Autometer dash link. The green light ensures that power is reaching the device. Once you have your dash link device connected to your OBD2 port, you're going to want to go into the app store of your iOS or your Android device and download the dash link Autometer app right here. We already had it downloaded, so let's go ahead and open it up. And this is the screen you're going to see when you open up the app. When you open up the app, you're going to have to enter your vehicle. You're going to have to enter certain things about it. So we'll go into vehicle. And today, this is going on to our 2011 Chevrolet Camaro SS. Okay. The type. This is a gas vehicle. Okay, we're going to hit done, and this has the 6.2 liter LS3, so we'll go into liters. You can also enter it in cc's, milliliters, or cubic inches if that work for, works for you. So liters, it's 6.2 liters. And then you can also go into advanced settings and enter many different other parameters such as curb weight, final drive ratios, tire sizes, and we'll enter those later so that we can use them in different parts of the app such as shift points and fuel efficiency calculations. So now we're going to go back, we're going to go ahead and turn on our key so it provides power to the unit. And you're going to want to go into your settings on your iPad or Android device. We're going to our Bluetooth, we're going to connect to the Autometer dash link. Now it's connected, we're going to go into the app. And then it's going to ask you if you, it wants to communicate, and you're going to want to allow that. Go into the app. It's going to connect. It's connected now, and we can start our vehicle. Now, the first time, it re it's going to start reading the VIN and checking for codes and things such as that. But once everything is in, you could go to dashboards. You could start monitoring things. So see, we have our RPM here. Our mouse power, obviously zero, because we're just sitting in the studio. And this will also tell you many things, such as your horsepower calculated through the torque, miles per gallon, we're making zero miles per gallon right now because we're just sitting in the garage, and then your intake temperatures. We're at 104 degrees right now. And to click through these different parameters, all you do is just click on them, and each one gives you different things. Our coolant temperature is 181 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we could also go into our fuel efficiency menu. This fuel efficiency menu isn't at its full capacity right now because we have to enter things into the advanced menu. Go to advanced settings. I'm going to enter many different parameters regarding gear ratios, fuel tank capacity, etc. that will allow us to use all of the different functions of the Autometer dash link. In order to use all of the functions of the Autometer dash link, I have entered many specific things about our vehicle. I entered the fuel capacity, 19 gallons the brake specific fuel consumption, which is a parameter that the manual will tell you what to enter, the tire size specification, all the gear ratios for the transmission as well as the rear end, the curb weight, additional weight, which is passengers or any other things you have in your vehicle, the maximum engine speed, 6200 RPM, the minimum engine speed, which is a rough estimate of where this would stall in the first year. Then we have our shift point, we put it at 3500, and the speed correction is one because we have the same size tires as when it came out of the factory. With all of these parameters entered, we can now go back to the home page. We go into our dashboards, and this is the shift point page where this will tell us where to shift if we we're actually driving in the vehicle. We could also go into, I like to think of this as the advanced engine section where it could show us timing. If I rev it, we could see some of the parameters we around, such as the timing, the mass airflow. And once again, just like on the other page, we could click on these and they change to fuel trims. Once again, the timing, intake temperature, ambient temperature, 54 degrees. It's a chilly day here in San Diego. The catalyst temperature, 
we go back to intake coolant lambda this one is very useful the air fuel ratio and as i rev the vehicle it moves around o2 sensor this thing tells us so much about our vehicle it's almost overwhelming if you have a tuned vehicle or any other modifications to your vehicle the autometer dash link is something you need perhaps one of the most interesting parts about this is the fuel consumption it tells you a lot about your fuel level your range your fuel flow etc but perhaps the most fun part about the autometer dash link is when you go back to the main menu it has a 0 to 60 menu which will tell you your 0 to 60 your quarter mile times so you can brag to your friends that you did a four and a half second 0 to 60 and all you have to do is set it to 0 to 60 and you accelerate to start this could also be set to 0 to 40 0 to 100 60 to 100 whatever speed interval you want to use it will do it it'll also do your quarter mile your 60 foot all of these parameters that no vehicle will tell you unless you buy an expensive V box or you're at a drag strip where you have to pay money and get tech and everything done. This dash link for about $100 will let you know many things about your vehicle. Perhaps the nicest feature about the Autometer dash link is that it will function as a code reader so you can read and clear your DTC codes on your vehicle. Now that I've shown you many of the different features of the Autometer dash link, we're going to take it up to a closed course, try out the 0 to 60 timer, the quarter mile timer, and show you some of the other features that it has. Well, the Autometer Dash Link is definitely my new favorite device for checking different parameters about my vehicle and checking out 0 to 60 quarter mile times and reading and clearing my DTC codes. If you want to see what Autometer has for your vehicle, check out autometer.com. Thank you for tuning in to Garage Guru TV. I will see you around.